Hi, we're from Watertown High School, and you're watching the 10th anniversary season of High School Quiz Show. Enjoy! Coming up on the quarterfinals of High School Quiz Show, it's Needham High School. Yeah. Taking on Acton Boxborough Regional High School. next on High School Quiz Show. Major funding for High School Quiz Show is provided by Safety Insurance. Cyber attacks aren't always obvious. Home cyber protection from Safety Insurance can help you protect yourself from cyber attacks. You can ask an independent agent about safety insurance. We'll help you manage live storms. Additional funding is provided by University of Massachusetts Amherst. This is the place where planets collide, where the world is taking notice, where 28,000 brilliant young minds from 65 countries call home. UMass Amherst, this is the place. <laughs> Welcome to the quarterfinals of High School Quiz Show. I'm Jeff Kinney, filling in for Billy Costa. Back in November, over 100 high school teams in Massachusetts competed at our Super Sunday qualifying event to earn one of 16 spots in this year's competition. The goal now is to become the next high school quiz show state champion. Today's matchup has Acton Boxborough Regional High School taking on Needham High School. On the Acton Boxborough team, we have Nathan, Sid, Basil, Nathra, and the alternate Ryan and coach Susan Irvis Bowmiller. And for Needham, we have Jonah, Daniel, Seth, and Anne, with alternates Henry and Izzy, and coaches Ken Brook and Brad Walker. Now, the competition has four rounds, a toss-up, a head-to-head, -head, a category round, and a lightning round. We'll start with the toss-up round. All answers are worth 10 points, and this is the only round with no point deductions for wrong answers. Is everybody ready? Let's have some fun. A baby bird goes through three stages, hatchling, nestling, and what third stage when it's fully feathered and ready to leave the nest? Basil. Fledgling. Correct. Who satirized the arms race and explored issues of science and religion in his 1963 novel, Cat's Cradle? Jonah. Kurt Vonnegut. That is right. In 1971, the Washington Post challenged the Nixon White House by publishing what top secret government report about the Vietnam War? Daniel. Pentagon Papers. That's right. For the next question, let's take a look at your monitors. Pictured here is At the Water's Edge. It was painted by what post-impressionist French artist known as the father of modern art and described by Picasso as my one and only master? Jonah. Vincent Van Gogh. Incorrect. Acton Boxborough. Nathan. Monet. Incorrect. It is Paul Cezanne. What Broadway musical that received 12 Tony Award nominations in 2018 is set in a fictional town called Bikini Bottom? Sid. The SpongeBob SquarePants, SquarePants musical. That is correct. What is a term for a positively charged ion, such as one formed when a metal atom loses valence electrons? Basil. A cation. That is correct. Meghan Markle is the first American actress to marry into a royal family since Monaco's Prince Rainier wed what Hollywood star in 1957? Basil. Grace Kelly. That's right. What 19th century British novelist originally published her work under the pen name Ellis Bell? Seth. Emily Bronte. That is correct. Okay, for the video question, let's take a look at your monitor. Hi, I'm Mia Marty Walsh, Mayor of Boston. Here's my question. A massive statue near Faneuil Hall pays tribute to what mayor? He was in office from 1968 to 1984, widely credited for revitalizing downtown Boston 
in the 1970s. Basil. Mayor Tom Menino. Incorrect. Needham. Ann. Copley. The answer is Kevin White. Once known as the Pearl of Persia, Isfahan is the third largest city in what present day country? Nathan. Iran. That's correct. With ratification of the 19th Amendment, American women were granted the right to vote in what year? Basil. 1920. That's right. In 2018, what Nordic country with a population of about 350,000 became the smallest country ever to qualify for a FIFA World Cup? Basil. Croatia. Incorrect. Needham, give it a try. Jonah. Iceland. Correct. Multiple choice. A red flower is crossed with a white flower, and all the offspring are pink. Which of the following laws of inheritance is at work? A, dominance, B, incomplete dominance, or C, co-dominance? Nathan. C. Incorrect. Needham. Jonah. B. B, incomplete dominance is correct. Here's a math question. In square inches, what is the outside surface area of a square box measuring two inches in width, two inches in height, and two inches in length? Basil. 24. Correct. Though the U.S. has quit the Paris Climate Agreement, what current Prime Minister of Canada has urged American cities and states to work with their northern neighbor to cut emissions? Basil. Trudeau. Correct. And now, cried Max, let the wild rumpus start. This quote is from what beloved children's book by Maurice Sendak? Jonah. Where the wild things are. That's right. In anatomy, what tough fibrous tissue connects bones to other bones? Sid. Cartilage. Incorrect. Needham, give it a try. Jonah. Tendons. Incorrect. The answer is ligaments. Beginning in 1562, French Catholics fought a series of wars against what group of French Calvinists? Basil. The Huguenots. That is correct. As seen in the film Bridge of Spies, Glienicke Bridge spans the Havel River in Germany and connects Potsdam to what city? Basil. Munich. Incorrect. Needham. Daniel. Berlin. Correct. Multiple choice. At the 2018 Academy Awards, Mudbound's Rachel Morrison became the first woman to be nominated for which of the following? A, Best Director, B, Best Cinematography, or C, Best Original Score? Jonah. A. Incorrect. Acton Boxborough? Basil. B. Yes, Best Cinematography is the right answer. What outfielder nicknamed Flacco is the primary designated hitter for the Boston Red Sox? Jonah. J.D. Martinez. That is correct. Over the past century, developers have drained half of the original 4,000 square miles of what subtropical wetlands area in southern Florida? Sid. The Everglades. That is correct. Here's another math question. Jessica drove 60 miles per hour for two hours and then 70 miles for another two hours. What was the total distance she traveled? Uh, Jonah. 260 miles. That is correct. Zeus, Poseidon, and Ares all had children with what seven sisters who are associated with a cluster of stars in the night sky? Daniel. The Muses. Incorrect. Acton Boxborough. Basil. The Pleiades. Correct. Able-bodied Muslims are expected to make at least one pilgrimage to Mecca during their lifetime under what fifth pillar of Islam? Nathan. The Hajj. Correct. In Walden, Henry David Thoreau famously wrote, I went to the woods because I wished to live how? Jonah. Deliberately. That is correct. The U.S. indicted 12 Russians for hacking offenses related to the 2016 presidential campaign. The conspirators primarily used what virtual currency to pay for servers and other expenses? Daniel. Bitcoin. Correct. In 2018, a 10-year-old boy named Clark Kent beat a 100-meter butterfly record set in 1995 by what famous American swimmer? Jonah. Mark Spitz. Incorrect. Acton Boxborough. Nathan. Phelps. Phelps is correct. Which of these terms, liquid, solid, or slushy, best describes the metal in the Earth's inner core? Basil. Slushy. 
Incorrect, Needham. Anne. Solid. Solid is correct. The story of a young orphan. That is the bell for the end of round one. And the score is Acton Boxborough, 140. Needham, 120. Let's hear it for both teams. The head-to-head -head round is next, but first, we like to take a few minutes to get to know the contestants. So I've prepared a question. I'd like each one of you to answer it. Okay, 10 years ago when High School Quiz Show premiered, you were all in elementary school. Today, you're in high school. Where will you be living and what will you be doing for work in 10 years? Let's start with Acton Boxborough. Nathan. So I'll be living in Massachusetts and I'll be doing some job that involves numbers and big data. Okay, great answer. Sid. Uh, I'll be living in California and I in a Tony Stark-esque mansion. <laughs> and I won't really be working because I would have got a lot of money off the billion dollar app I sold to Google. Ah, smart. I love it. Basil, how about you? Uh, I'd be living in Western Europe as the resident world controller. I love it. That's great. Nathra? Uh, I will be traveling the world working on education reform for women and children. Wow. Nobody is saying their parents' basement yet. Uh, Needham. Jonah, what about you? In 10 years, I'll be living in New England watching season 20 of the High School Quiz Show. I love it. Maybe you'll be hosting it. Uh, stranger things have happened. Daniel, how about you? Uh, I'll be living somewhere warm, and I hope we'll be in the medical field. That's smart. If you wait around, it, the warmth might come to us. Uh, Seth, how about you? I hope I'll be living in New York City, because I really love it there, and doing something I love, like teaching linguistics. I like to visit, but I don't like to stay. How about you, Anne? I would love to live on the West Coast, and maybe I could work for a newspaper or something. That'd be fun. I love it. I hope newspapers are still here. That would be great. <laughs> Okay, thank you very much. Okay, it's now time for the next round. So, Acton Boxborough and Needham, we're going to come down and go head to head. All right, we're about to go head to head. I've got Needham to my left and Acton Boxborough to my right. Gentlemen, shake hands and we'll get started. As a reminder, in this round, you get 10 points for correct answers. Incorrect answers will cost you 10. You can buzz in at any time. The clock is set at 90 seconds, and here we go. Consuming more than 150,000 acres, the 2018 Camp Fire was the worst wildfire in the history of what U.S. state? California. Correct. Who was an unemployed single mother? Uh, Martha Washington. Incorrect, J.K. Rowling. Uh, in computer terminology, the acronym RAM stands for? Random Access Memory. That's correct. What U.S. city is home to a 605-foot-tall landmark known as the Space Needle? Seattle. Yes. American colonists hated what 1765 Act that required them to provide temporary housing to British? Quartering Act. That's correct. What present-day city on the Neva River was formerly known as Leningrad? St. Petersburg. That's right. What light-sensitive layer at the back of the eye contains? The retina. That's right. In 2005, who became the first female chancellor of Germany? Angela Merkel. That is correct. In The Fault in Our Stars, Hazel and Augustus take a special trip to what European city? The answer is Amsterdam. What Iconic bridge connects Murren County to San Francisco. Uh, Golden State Bridge. That's right. What adventure novel by Jonathan Swift describes? Gulliver's Travels. That's right. What was the first name of the English king who was beheaded for treason in 1649? Charles. And that's the bell for the end of round two. Let's take a look at the score. We've got a tie. Boxborough 170, Needham 170. Let's have a round of applause for both teams. Next up is the category round, but first we have a score correction to make. Acton Boxborough's answer, Golden State Bridge, was incorrect. The correct answer is Golden Gate Bridge. The corrected score is now Acton Boxborough 150, Needham 170. So now let's get back to the category round with the following categories. Rule of Law, Finding Nemo, Older Than Dirt, Face the Music, 
the whole truth and Viva Las Vegas. Each category has five questions with increasing point values. Players, you can confer with your teammates, but once you buzz in, you're no longer able to confer and we'll need your answer. Act in box, bro. You have a tiny bit of ground to make up, so you choose the first category. What's it going to be? We'll have Finding Nemo for 10 points, please. Finding Nemo, these are all questions about fish. For 10 points, multiple choice. Which of the following is not a fish? A, electric eel, B, starfish, or C, seahorse? Basil. B. B, starfish is correct. You still got control. We'll stick with Finding Nemo for 15 points, please. For 15 points. Fish fins can be pectoral, pelvic, or caudal, but what type of fin appears on a fish's back? Daniel. Dorsal. Dorsal is correct. You've taken control of the board. Finding Nemo for 20. Finding Nemo for 20 points. Nemo in the film Finding Nemo is an example of what orange fish with three white stripes? Jonah. Clownfish. Clownfish is right. You've still got control. Older than dirt for 10. Older than dirt. These are questions about ancient civilizations. For 10 points, the agricultural wealth of ancient Egypt was dependent on the seasonal flooding of what river? Seth. Nile. The Nile is correct. You still have control. Fighting Nemo for 25. For 25 points. What visible line along the side of a fish is a specialized organ that works much like radar, helping a fish navigate in dark or murky water? Basil. The lateral line. That is correct. You've retaken control. Finding Nemo for 30 points. For 30 points. Like all vertebrates, which are animals with a backbone or a spinal column, fish belong to what phylum in taxonomy? Basil. Chordata. Chordata is correct. You've cleared the category. You have to pick another. Older than dirt for 15 points, please. For 15 points. What ancient civilization built Tenochtitlan, the site of present-day Mexico City, on an island in a vast lake? Daniel. Aztecs. The Aztecs is correct. You've got control of the board. Older than dirt for 20. For 20 points. In ancient Mesopotamia, religious ceremonies were held on top of what? Massive temples built in the form of a terraced step pyramid. Nathan. Zagarats. Yes, we'll accept that. You've got control. We'll take older than dirt for 25, please. For 25 points. What Visigoth king led the sack of Rome in 410 AD, an event that marked the fall of the Western Roman Empire? Basil. Alaric. That is correct. You still got control. We'll finish older than dirt for 30 points, please. For 30 points. The term Tuscany comes from what wealthy and powerful civilization in central Italy whose culture was heavily adopted by the Romans? Basil. The Etruscans. The Etruscans is correct to clear the category. You have to pick another. We'll have the rule of law for 10 points, please. The rule of law. These are all questions about the law. For 10 points, which of the following is not among your Miranda rights? A, the right to bail. B, the right to remain silent, or C, the right to an attorney? Sid. A. That is correct, the right to bail. What's your category? Uh, we'll stick with rule of law for 15. For 15 points, Latin for produce the body, what legal writ states that a person cannot be kept in prison unless he has first been brought before a court of law? Seth. Habeas corpus. That's correct, you've taken control. Rule of law for 20. Rule of law for 20 points. Ratified in 1865 in the aftermath of the Civil War, what constitutional amendment made it illegal to enslave people? Daniel. 13th Amendment. That is correct. You've got control. The rule of law for 25. For 25 points. In United States v. Nixon, the Supreme Court limited the power of any U.S. president to claim executive privilege. Soon after this landmark decision, Nixon resigned on August 9th of what year. Jonah. 1974. That is correct. You've still got control. Rule of law for 30. For 30 points. Also known as the National Labor Relations Act, what 1935 law guarantees the rights of employees to organize labor unions? It is the Wagner Act. Needham, you've still got control. You're down to three categories. 
the whole truth for 10? Okay, these are all questions about recent best-selling nonfiction, the whole truth. For 10 points, in Born a Crime, what host of The Daily Show wrote about his childhood in South Africa under apartheid? Sid. Trevor Noah. That is correct. You've retaken control. We'll take the whole truth for 15. For 15 points. The Girl with the Lower Back Tattoo is a memoir by what comedian who starred in the films I Feel Pretty and Trainwreck? Jonah. Melissa McCarthy. Incorrect. Acton Boxborough. Nathra. Amy Schumer. That is correct. Okay, you've still got control. We'll do the whole truth for 20. For 20 points. Nathaniel Philbrick's In the Heart of the Sea is about the sinking of the American whaling ship, the Essex, an event that inspired what 1851 novel? Jonah. Moby Dick. That is correct. You've retaken control. Face the music for 10. Face the music. These are all questions about music. For 10 points, a moderately soft dynamic is indicated by the letters MP, which stands for what? Jonah. Mezzo piano. That is correct. You've still got control. Face the music for 15. For 15 points. In the early 1800s, German inventor Johann Meltzel patented what device that keeps a regular beat and can be adjusted to any tempo? Basil. The metronome. That is correct. You've taken control of the board. Face the music for 20 points, please. For 20 points. Italian for disconnected. What musical notation indicates short, clear-cut playing of notes? Nathan. Staccato. That is correct. You've still got control. Keep going, keep going. Face the music for 25, please. For 25 points. In Western musical notation, a dotted quarter note has how many beats in 4-4 four, four time? Sid. One and a half. That is right. You've still got control of the board. Finish, finish. We'll finish the category for face the music for 30 points. For 30 points. What French word popularized by Chopin refers to a dreamy musical composition inspired by the night? Basil. A nocturne. That is correct. You've cleared another category, and now we have two left. We'll try Viva Las Vegas for 10 points, please. Viva Las Vegas. These are all questions about Las Vegas. For 10 points, in 1829, Spanish explorers discovered and named Las Vegas, which means which of the following in Spanish? A, the deserts, B, the valleys, or C, the meadows? Daniel. Uh, B. Incorrect. Acton Boxborough? Basil? C. C, the Meadows, is correct. You still got control of the board. We'll keep Viva Las Vegas for 15 points, please. For 15 points, Las Vegas is located in what desert that receives less than two inches of rain each year, making it the driest desert in North America? Basil? The Mojave Desert. That is correct. You still got control. But that's the buzzer. And that ends the category round with the score. Acton Boxborough, 440, and Needham, 295 points. Let's hear it for both teams. Okay, we are heading into the final 90 seconds of gameplay, the lightning round. You get 20 points for each correct answer. Incorrect answers cost you 20. The clock is set. Here we go. Good luck. What year marked the fall of the Berlin Wall? Basil. 1989. Correct. What big box retailer is the largest private employer in the United States? Basil. Walmart. Right. The Lewis dot structure of helium has how many dots? Basil. Two. That's correct. What U.S. city is home to the country music hall of fame? Jonah. Nashville. Correct. In Homer's Odyssey, what Greek sorceress turns... Basil. Kirky. Yes, we're going to accept that. What French composer is best known for his 1928 orchestral piece, Bolero? Basil. Ravel. That is correct. What U.S. organization founded in 1912 is credited with inventing the campfire treat known as s'mores? Nathan. Boy Scouts. Incorrect. Girl Scouts. What is the chemical symbol for muscovium? Uh, basil. MV. Incorrect, MC. What Native American woman served as an interpreter for the basil? Sacagawea. That is correct. Name the largest lake in Africa. Nathan. Lake Victoria. That's correct. What 1984 film includes the quote, wax on, wax off? Jonah. Karate Kid. That's right. In 2018, what former vice president released a new memoir titled, Promise Me, Dad? 
Daniel. Joe Biden. That's right. Protium is the lightest and most common isotope of what? Hydrogen. Basil. Hydrogen is right. During World War II, who was the supreme commander of Allied forces on D-Day? Daniel. Eisenhower. That's right. What children's author wrote? That's the end of the game. And the winner is Acton Boxbro with 560 points. Our runner up is Needham with 375 points. Congratulations to both teams for a great game. Acton Boxbro moves on to play in the semifinals. So be sure to tune in. We'll see you back here next week for High School Quiz Show. Major funding for High School Quiz Show is provided by Safety Insurance. Trees are down, the power is down, but you're not powerless. The mobile app from Safety Insurance can help you file a claim. You can ask an independent agent about safety insurance. We'll help you manage life storms. Additional funding is provided by Museum of Science. The Museum of Science, featuring a new film, Cuba. Through the eyes of Cuban artists, historians, and scientists, you can take a look at what makes this island nation so unique and vivacious. Now playing at the Museum of Science's Mugar Omni Theater. More at MOS.org. A production of WGBH.